Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Searchal. Uh, so let's tr start with finds. Ooh, an ND in place on the left, probably NDY, something like candy. It's probably the Andy trap. There's candy, there's Randy. Is there anything else? I'm not sure. So let's just make sure we cover like a C. In fact, we could just do a CR word now. Let's do like a uh, croak for the right. All right, it is candy. And then this left word starts with C as well, which is very handy. Uh, handy was another option, actually. All right. Um, what is this? I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe a, another vowel after the C, because how are we bridging with that A? It's a bit too far away. I guess we could do like C-L-E-A, like cleat. Oh, well, that was... That was a clean solve. All right. Candy and cleat. Interesting. All right, not too bad today. Let's do fibble, noble. Hmm. So I could do like a B-L-O word. Can't do blonde. Can't do blown. <laughs> I could do blood. That would be interesting. Ooh, it's saying there's two O's in place. Everything agrees. It's still saying there's no L. It is saying there's an O. It's, it is saying there's a B. Um, what if I do something like broom? Oh, broom doesn't have a lie in noble, though. So I'd have to do broon, or that would be it. Um, what if the B was lying both times? Then I could just do, like, shoot. Let's give that a try. Ooh, interesting. So there is an O here because this these O's are disagreeing. Ooh, um, I don't know what to do here. Maybe I'll just do another O O word and see what happens. Um, I'm kind of running out of ideas for what that could be, though. If I did, I was trying to think if I could do an O O this way, but. Then I have to include a B, and it would have to be over here somewhere. And then I'd have to include an SH or T. I think I want to keep doing OO here if I can. Maybe OOK, like crook. There we go. We'll do crook. We're back to OO here. All right, can I think of another one? <laughs> um... I'm not sure if I can. O-O-M? The problem is getting two letters at the start. What if it started like with A or something? I mean, would this O really be lying every time? Um, hold on, I have to include it. I am in hard mode, but... I need, I need to include a CR or K. Yeah, okay. So I can use the R. That's probably key. Um, proof. That's what I was missing. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the lie here. So maybe it ends in OOP. Darn, I can't use the R. Uh, uh, if the R was lying... No, yeah, I could use the R still. Uh, wait. No, because I need to do OO. So now I'd have to use the C or the K. Uh-oh. Okay, I think... I think I'm getting bamboozled here. So what I'm thinking is, if this O were the lie, and I am O-O still, then I have to include something from Crook, a C, and not the R, the C or the K, and I'd have to include this P. So I need to include a C or a K and a P, and I just don't know how that fits. I could end in OOK, okay, but then I'd have to do something like that. Now, spook is a word, but I can't include the S in this case. Or I'd have to like start with C and end in P, but I don't have the R, L. I mean, those aren't words anyway, but even I can't even make something pronounceable that way. Um, 
So are these O's just like really messing with me here? Let's see. Okay, so well, let's do some logic. One of these O's is lying, so there's definitely no R in the word. Uh, one of these O's is lying. I don't really, I haven't really been repeating a lot of letters is kind of the issue. Um, one of these two is lying. Well, we know this isn't lying. Well, do we know this isn't lying? I feel like we kind of know that it's not lying. It's definitely pointing at this one, but the question is whether it could be green. Can we, can we be OO over here? Well, let's rule that out. If we were OO over here, then we'd have to include a B. And this would be a lie, so we would have to include a B over here somewhere. And then we'd have to include an S or a T. Yeah, okay, that's just not going to work. So this is not a lie, just logically. Um, I kind of ruled out B early just because of the difficulty including a B, but maybe if this, maybe all three of these O's were lying. Let's look at that, what that looks like, and I'm actually going to fill it out. So what happens if all of these O's are lying? Then we have to do that. We'd have to include an N, L, or E. And then the P could be lying, so we don't have to include the P. So, because we're not including an F as well. So, okay. So we'd have an O in the middle. We'd include an N. We wouldn't include the L, so we'd include an N or an E. Maybe the E would be good, and we'd have to have a B somewhere. So maybe O, B, E. Um, wow, okay, this works, actually. But I can't do, like, probe, because there's no R in this case. Oh, come on. There must be an OBE word. I uh, can't do Adobe or Abode. I could do BO and then end in E. Does that help? I don't really see how. Yeah, it would just be Abode. Above. Above. Wow. That was it. Those O's. Holy cow. Getting the lie in the same slot all three times. Yikes. And the fact that there was a B in the word and it wasn't first, that was already unlikely. It's not all that unlikely that the E was lying, but that the lie was on a gray, that's unlikely for a lie to be on a gray, because lies are usually on colored. There, there, you, there is a statistical argument, and also um, I have gone through some solves and seen that it's the case that, that lies are usually on colors. See how all these lies are on colors? It's because mo in most of your guesses, there will be majority gray. And so the chance per guess of it landing on a gray is pretty high. And when it lands on a gray, it must become a color. And so if you're looking at a word with some grays and some colors, the lie should be on a color most of the time. Um, now, I try to find contradictions, so I assume it's on a gray in my early guesses. But anyway, um, cool. Yeah, so this this was very unlikely to have the E there and then to have the same slot three times, making me think it's double O. <laughs> Yikes. All right, well, let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Hmm. A fine? Or I'm fine? I don't know. So sterling, coin, dollar, like currencies? And pound? Are these currencies? Let's try it. Whoa, not even one away. Yikes. Okay. I got bamboozled. Prime? Prime could mean a lot of things. Hmm. Quality. Wait, invent is a verb. Create is a verb. Okay, and they're they're similar. Um, devise. Okay, what else? Really, at I just noticed at. <laughs> um, what's what's? I mean, prime can be a verb. Is it really that? I'm gonna look at every single one. Dollar, fine, pound, torch, buck. Buck, dollar, and pound, and sterling, maybe? No. Yeah, maybe. Uh, coin, quality, percent, sterling. 
I'm going to try Prime with these three. One away. Darn. What is it? I don't know. Am I crazy? I'm wondering if buck, dollar, pound, and sterling are all similar. I'm kind of out of... <laughs> I have only have one mistake left. Uh, is there anything obvious that I can do? Coin means to invent. There we go. You can coin a term. Bring into being. Okay. That was tough. Okay. Uh, why was that the yellow? Oh no, that, that doesn't bode well here. Um, pound, buck, dollar, and sterling. I think those go together, but I'm not going to try to lock that in yet, because I'm going to look at what the rest of these might be. Quality and prime and... F okay, quality and fine and prime might be... Yeah, those might be similar. But I don't know what else would go with that. What is what is at? Is this an acronym? Or is it just the word at? Okay, a torch, a bar, and a percent. An at? I'm thinking like statistical things. Okay, so if that's statistical things, and then we've also got dollar, buck, sterling, pound, that means time, fine, quality, and prime. I don't know why time would go with that. But it may, I don't know, does it make sense? You can say it's timeless. I don't know. Let, let's see if this ends up right. No, I'm not even on a way. Oh, no. Okay, I've got to get all of these with no mistakes now. So I think I'm not right about these four. Well, I definitely wasn't right about these. These need to get split up. Um, are there other graphs, like the bar graph, torch graph? Um, Percent and at could be the same. Mm, maybe. I don't know. It's a bit of a stretch for that, too. Okay, sterling, fine quality, and prime, maybe? Maybe bar as well. I'm thinking about like. How you measure fine? How you measure um, expensive metals like gold and silver? You have bars of gold. You have sterling silver. I don't know. And then it would be like fine. It would be prime or quality. I don't even know. I'm not that up on how you use terms like that. But then bar and torch don't get together, of course. I can't make any more mistakes, so I'm a little bit hesitant to lock in something that does, isn't obvious. Is Buck not for, like... Money is buck like to buck something off? I don't see why that would be the case, given what else we have here. Um, like pound and dollar are official names for currency, whereas buck is an informal word for money. Okay, let's say let's say that bar and sterling went with one of these. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. I 
I still don't understand this. Maybe torch, time, at, and percent are the statistical words. And then buck, dollar, pound, and prime would go together. I don't know. That's the best I've got. Bar, sterling, fine, and quality. And then torch, time, at, percent, and dollar, buck, pound, prime. It's either this or I don't get it. Nope. Darn. Okay, what was it? Excellent. Fine, prime, quality, and sterling. Really? Yeah, okay. I guess so. Symbols above numbers on a keyboard? At dollar, percent, and pound. Or, yeah, symbols above numbers on keyboards. Pass the bar, pass the buck, pass the time, and pass the torch. I don't, I think the only thing I was even on track for was like this excellent category, and, and I wasn't really. Yikes. Okay, well, how'd you do today? All right. Searchel, why do babies? Why do babies cry? That's a bit short. Um, why do babies laugh? Because they're happy. Um, okay, just an A. Why do babies like crepes? <laughs> Um, why do babies brain? Because they need their brains. Um, all right, the A's in place. Why do babies stack? They like to stack things. Oh, for some reason, I thought it was right there. There's no way. Why do babies, why do babies stamp things all the time? They're constantly stamping things. Um, train with the staff. Why do they stave? Um, oh, there's an R. <laughs> Whoops. Why do babies start? Oh, no. Why do babies? Why do babies stare at you all the time? <sighs> they want to see you. <laughs> Weird one. Okay. Ah, I missed the R. If I'd known there was an R, I probably would have done start and then stare. I would have I would have done one better, but that's okay. And this one's always fun. It's just short. All right. Let's do polygonal. All right, we have an eight-letter word today. This repeats and this repeats. We're certainly not doing ING today. Um so what are we doing? Let's think about what this sort of letter sandwich would be. Um I want this to be like an L, like a consonant, right? Um, could we start with T and then end in like ER or ED or something? Hmm. If I do ED, I can do TR, but this is not this is not a word. Um. What would I put like if I if I even just had an R here, right? What would I put between the R and the E? Is kind of the question coming to mind. I could do like HR. I could do th threaded, but that's not a word. Um, what if this was an S? Stressed. I think I just got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't just got it. Uh, I was right about ED though. Interesting. Um, so I got rid of the S, then the T, and the R, which would all be possibilities to put here. Could it be L then? See, L doesn't actually look that good here. Um, yeah, I don't think it even leveled has the repeated L. I can't do it, but I was looking at it to see if it looked right. I'm not actually sure. G maybe? No, I don't like that. F maybe? Got to finesse this. Um, wow, interesting. I don't know why I just cleared all that one at a time. End, maybe? End. P? Oops, not O. P? There, it's not PR, though. PL? Or maybe a vowel after the P. I, I don't know how that works. Polyped. <laughs> if it was PL, the problem is what goes here.
I mean, P makes a lot of sense, but I don't know how we bridge this gap. Panept, pinept, punept. Not sure. Um, what else can go there? M? Minemd. Really don't know. Trying to think what else would go here. Z? See, I could believe the Z if it didn't also start with Z. Um, Q, W, Y. I don't think it's a vowel. P, F, G. We tried H, no, J, K. Okay, I tried K. Doesn't work. L. I mean, I didn't try K. I, I literally, this was me trying K. Um, I really feel like maybe it's the L, but what does that? No, I don't see it. Z, X, C, V, B, B, ebbed. Mm. Not seeing that. N, M. I may have to do a filler just because I can't figure out what letters go in here. That's really unfortunate, but I just I went through everything. I gave it. I gave it a good try. Uh, so what what filler would I want to do here? I think I want to check the common letters that could go there. I want to check an L. I want to check a P. Uh, I want to check an N, an F. That's probably enough, but am I going to be able to do that? What am I normal? Robustly and machined. Don't look great. Um, what if I did like a PL word, like... And I'd love to get like the vowels as well. Panic. Panicking? It's not amazing. But we're going to go with it. Wait. Oh, is there two? Wait. How do you spell panicking? Oh, no. I'm panicking about panicking. Um. Planet? No, we don't. We know there's no T. Plane. Darn it. Planking? No. Oh, oh, it's. I can do panicking. Uh, I just need to uh, turn off Hexpert. <laughs> no, I can't? All right. Can I do planking then? There. There's an L. It's probably here then. because it... I guess it could be here. There's an A as well, so it would be like this. I'm thinking A-L, and there's a different repeated letter here. What would it be? Valift. Malimed. Calked. What's left? I F H J Z X C V Valved B Balbed Mal. Okay, maybe maybe it is an L here. What? Lawled, Lailed, Laffled. Lahold, Jalagold, Lazold, Labeled. Yikes. I don't know. Should I have gotten that sooner? You be the judge. There's only, literally, only labeled or stressed. So I got stressed, and then labeled was the only common word left. Let's see. Labeler, lapeled, libeled, libeler, reborrowed. No wonder I was struggling. Reborrow, huh? So once I had the EED, 
it was just all L's. I had to use L and it just didn't look right to me for some reason. Oh well. Let's do symbol. Nope, not let's not do symbol. Let's do the mini. I keep forgetting. Uh sleet. No. Brood. Okay. Um I'm thinking R R Y. What can I do? Mary. The Y was correct. Okay, so it's R and then Y. And then it's not L L. Runny? Like runny eggs? Oh, it is runny. Okay. Very nice. Okay, now we do symbol. All right, should I look at how many words? 795. Yeah, this is the most common. All right, start with blaze. Ooh, do I try an L E in place? I think I do. Um, what gets some good letters? Um, slime? That sounds fun. Okay, either LE is in place or they're swapped. We'll keep doing LE in place until we see otherwise. Um, something like clove. Okay, still LE in place. Um, I feel like it's got to go LU. I guess it could go LE. But let's look at LU first. If there is anything. I'm not seeing it. Uh, so E, or we could do Y, I guess. Um, what would this be? Okay, the other option is E and L are swapped. Is there any? Is there anything I can do there? Like devil, but no. Um, I could even do two E's. Uh, I could even, I cannot do level. I can't use the L again because it's, it would, this L would then be pointing at the end. So it should, it would, should be pointing at the start if it was actually there. Um, I can't use the V anyway. Uh, repel. Well, I got the other symbol, but that doesn't mean much. So there isn't another E. Um, darn it. <laughs> so it'd be UL then. Neither of these are looking good anymore. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we'll, we'll go back to LE here. Something like flume, but there's no M. Flute. Flute. All right. Darn, if only I thought of flute. Uh, I guess it was worth trying repel. I guess so. <laughs> we knew there wasn't another E at that point. Okay, I mean flute and five. This this was um up until here, this was just an all green solve. It's just tough to keep thinking of L E words. And then I was starting to get suspicious that it was swapped, but anyway. Uh yeah, let's move on. Do the blind fusel. Can we start with flute? We can. Okay. We get the T E. So let's try something like but if we do tenet, I have a better chance of placing getting greens, because I don't get yellows on this one anyway. Ooh, okay, so we ruled out two places for E and two places for T. So E might be in the middle, and that would force T to be here. So let's do an S-T-E word, like steam. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> that was so good. What? <laughs> and it's not, it's not a huh, it, it says congrats, it was steam. Whoa. I don't think I've had a better solve in Blind Fusel before. Like these, like Flute was just a straightforward guess, but it was my forced guess. And then, because of not forced, but it was just a simple answer. And then Tenet got me, it feels like it got me nothing, but it got me enough to, to get steam. Very nice. All right, we're going to end with Don't Wordle here. We're trying to fail. Start with Kayak. I think it's been working out, been winning. All right, we got an A, so Ooh, I forget forget if I thought of something to do for A, but let's think about it. Um, pizzazz. Someone suggested pizzazz, and I think that's a really good idea. I forget who suggested it. I'm sorry. All right, A is in the middle, but we still have 861 words left because we did three Zs. <laughs> um, okay, so now I definitely don't have a plan, but let's keep looking. 
Um, did I do I, did I remember right that flaff is a word? It is. Okay, that worked out well. No L. Um. Okay, how do how do I repeat more letters? Um. I could do an A S S word. I'm running into the danger of accidentally guessing the word correct, but. Um, is something like shash a word? It is. Ooh, we start with S, and there's one of them. All right, we're starting to narrow it down, unfortunately. Um, could it be something like snare or snare? I forget which one. Actually, I don't know how snare is spelled. Um, S E A, maybe? Like. I guess. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna say I could guess Civ, but I certainly can't. Um S T A Stank Sting. I wonder if stant is a word. It's not. Um stain with an E, maybe. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, so there's eight S T A words. I just have to find one that's probably not an answer. I could do start. That would be an optional. That, that would be definitely be a possible answer. Um, stack is a definitely a possible answer. Uh, Stark is a possible answer. I could gamble it, but there might just be some weird word that I could just fill and win. So like, stame, or steak, or stark with a C, or... Oh, stead is an option as well, or stayed, or whatever this word is. Or stare. How many have I found? Let's see. Stare, stayed, stark. That's three. Um, stack is four. Start is five. I think I almost have all of them. I mean, it is really like a one in five, even if I guess one of these words. Let's just go with this one. This one feels more rare. Okay, good. Wow, it was stack. Okay. So I had five words left. I had stack. Okay, let's actually look at this, the eight. What could I have guessed? Whatever staggy means. State, I got stage. That's an interesting one to remember. Stare, stark, star with two R's is accepted. What does that mean? I don't think I've ever seen S-T-A-R-R. Interesting. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, you can kind of see that below me. Anyway, I know the capture is bad for this, but it's it's good for the actual gameplay, which is why I do it that way. Anyway, that's fun. And then the last one will start. So the the words that were completely safe to guess is S T A G Y, S T A I G, and S T A R R. And I think I found the other five. So that's interesting. All right. Well, those are the games for today. Hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.